This video is brought to you by TomTalk. Last time I showed you what's in my sling, I got this comment. It's incredible how much useless stuff people carry every day. Well, Stone Jack, there's only one thing that I can say to you. Let me show you what's in my backpack. So, I have over 20 items that I'll go through, most of which, believe it or not, remain permanently in my backpack. Others are, of course, items that I carry in my pockets. I've broken down everything into six categories, and as always, each item will be linked in the description below. Let's start with the backpack itself, which is by TomTalk. It's called Navigator H71. It's 20 liters in size, and it has plenty of pockets and organization options all over. Three features make this backpack special. First and foremost, it is very affordable. It is in fact three and a half times more affordable than my previous backpack. Of course, comparing a camera bag with this more traditional approach isn't fair. Still, aside from the missing camera compartment and modularity, everything else around this backpack is rock solid. The second thing that makes this backpack unique is the weight. My previous Peak Design backpack is almost four pounds while the Navigator is 1.8, which is more than carrying an iPad with Magic Keyboard all the time. Going with a lighter backpack makes a lot of sense if you haul stuff like me. Let's be honest, the double handles are something that I adore and I appreciate a lot as well. Having dual balance handles is fantastic and that's the third thing that I appreciate on this backpack. While on the topic of backpack and organization, I also carry a TomTok Defender accessory pouch. Like I showcased in my previous EDC video, which I'll link at the end of this one, I used to carry an Orbit Key Nest Organizer, which I liked for its hard shell and extra features like wireless charging. In the name of weight savings, however, I shelved it for this ultra light pouch that holds less attractive items like cables and flash drives. It's again made from wear and water resistant recycled fabric with YKK zippers. It does the job just fine where I can quickly lose it inside the backpack and just forget about it. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? So my primary devices are the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro and an 11 inch M2 iPad Pro and of course, my trusty iPhone 14 Pro. The laptop has been my workhorse ever since it was released, and it's been through a lot, including a desk height drop, which unfortunately scuffed the body. And for that reason, I ordered a triple black D brand skin to mask off some of the more apparent imperfections. I'm about to order an M2 MacBook Pro in 14 inches soon because I desperately need more internal storage. And I have to be honest, I want something smaller and lighter. I use my laptop dock 90% of the time and I believe the 14 inches would be the perfect alternative for me. The 11 inch iPad Pro is my go-to non-editing device which I spent a lot of time on using it for writing and drawing. I recently cradled it inside the Logitech's Combo Touch because I enjoy the fabric-like finish and you guessed it, it's lighter than the Magic Keyboard. Just like the Apple alternative, it uses the three pin connectors to draw power from the iPad itself, so there's no additional charging that I need to worry about. The keyboard detaches from the main case, which is plenty protective on its own, and I love the function role that allows me to control the brightness and volume and pretty much everything else right here. It's amazing. Although I love the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, I couldn't make the switch to ditch my trusty iPhone 14 Pro, mainly because of features like AirDrop, Universal Clipboard, and more. Feel free to check out my Day in the Life video with the S23 Ultra in the link in the description. And with that, let's move on to charging. The newest addition in my ADC regarding power is the Omni 20C Plus power bank. A few things make this 20,000 mAh battery unique. First, it can output 100 watts via the main USB port, which can also serve as a hub. For example, if you plug in to charge your MacBook, you can use the remaining ports for your peripherals and drives if you run out of ports on the computer. Very clever and unique approach. Opposite the main port, there is an additional 60 watt PD port and top side, there is a 10 watt wireless charging pad, which makes this battery the perfect on the go solution, providing 120 watts total output. 
Best of all, you can monitor your consumption on the OLED screen. I took advantage of this guy a few days ago on a short trip with the family and I was delighted that I could easily top up my iPad, two iPhones and the Apple Watch easily. The entire product comes in a soft rubber enclosure that is surprisingly lightweight. It even comes with a hard shell carrying pouch that can easily accommodate your everyday cables and essentials. Since the Omni charge bank does not have a built-in Apple Watch puck, I also carry my Apple Duo charger. Combined, I have a total of two cables, both of which are by Ugreen, one USB-C and one USB-C to Lightning. And to juice up all my gear, including the power bank, I carry only one brick and it's by Ugreen. That's the 140 watt Ugreen GAN charger. I've talked about this charger in the past and so far I have found no reason to think of something else. It's compact and plenty powerful. Now, before we talk about what's in my pockets, I want to point out that there are days when I don't want to carry anything in my pockets. And in those lighter moments, I resort to my custom 8-inch sling bag, again from TomTok. Based on their classic Explorer HO2 sling bag, this customizable version offers over 23 million color and fabric possibilities. And I picked mine with matte coated fabric in Sienna Brown on the top half, with a contrasty black bottom and back alongside Fidlock V-buckle for that ultra satisfying magnetic fastening. A black shoulder strap, blacked out logo and of course custom why not text in white. This sling is ideal for daily essentials that torture your pockets like keys, smartphone, wallet and earbuds and plenty more including the Nintendo Switch. Be sure to check out the first link in the description below and use coupon code thisis 20 to take advantage of a 20% discount and grab your TomTok today. <laughs> okay, so the iPhone 14 Pro remains my daily driver. I carry it with Moft's sling set case in jet black without the included lanyard. The case is chunkier than most, but I like the vegan leather finish and strong magnets. Most often on the back, I keep Pitaka's Mac Easy Grip, which is incredible for one-handed use and when I want to prop my phone and watch something. My current wallet of choice is MKBHD's Trove wallet, which honestly is the most compact wallet I've ever owned. The number of cards I keep inside determines its structure and thickness. What I like most is the pull tab and the ability to hide some cash on the opposite side of the cards. It's lightweight and it's ultra portable. And if I'm not mistaken, it's available on Marquez's website again. Either in the backpack or in my pocket, I also carry the Marshall Minor 3 earbuds. Now, if I have to describe them, I would say AirPods 3 made by Marshall. They're not in-ear like the AirPods Pro, which I prefer, by the way, and they're very similar to the AirPods 3 sound signature. The case is very compact and everything is coated in signature Marshall texture in black and gold colors. They sound great, look aesthetically better than the AirPods 3 and are more affordable, but they don't connect to all your Apple devices and the textured coating might feel a bit rougher on the ears compared to Apple's silky smooth white plastic. Overall though, a great alternative. My watch of choice is the Apple Watch Ultra, which I paired with Bandwerks stainless steel bracelet model G1S. This combo is absolutely gorgeous, giving me classic mechanical watch vibes. The bracelet is made from corrosion resistant 316L stainless steel alloy and it consists of 120 components that are milled with an accuracy of 0.01 millimeters. I did remove a link for a perfect fitment and after hours of swimming and working out with it, I couldn't be happier. Let's talk accessories. I always carry a knife in my backpack or sling. The one that was gifted to me and I absolutely love is called Zero Tolerance. It features an S35 VN razor edge, an all aluminum handle, and the ball bearing opening system is hugely satisfying to use. All my keys. All my keys are within Orbit Keys key organizer and split in the middle to help me distinguish the home keys sets and the office sets with the multi-tool by Orbit Key, which is sold separately. This little multi-tool is handy if I want to unscrew a camera gear, for example, or pry something quickly. The key organizer is convenient as it eliminates any rattling and potential scratching of something in my pocket. Opposite the organizer, I keep the Pitaka Pit Attack multi-tool, which holds one of my air tags and also features tiny tools that might come in handy for opening a box, for example, or if my knife is not in an arm's reach. 
Now, since my keys are separate from the backpack and might end up in my sling while the backpack is left behind, the backpack has a second air tag inside, which is nested in the Pitaka Pita tag for cable. This is another air tag holder with yet another hidden feature. The handle itself is a USB-C to lightning cable that comes in very handy in dire situations. In the TomTok pouch, I always carry two USB flash drives, one USB-C and one USB-A, just in case I need to update firmware of a monitor or something in the car, or simply create a bootable drive for an operating system. I also have a third USB drive, 32 gigabytes. On one side, it's USB-A, on the other is USB-C, and you can imagine how handy this comes in in many situations. Where is it? Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? There you are. An additional tiny accessory I carry with me is a USB A to USB C adapter, which is always a must. Continuing the topic of redundancy, I have a Ugreen 4K USB C hub that might help me in a project when I'm out and about, whether I'm working on the laptop or the iPad. Fun EDC items are not must everyday items at all. And the Nintendo Switch OLED, for example, stays docked at home most of the time, but always ends up in the backpack if I'm traveling somewhere. I love playing Mario Kart as well as Lego Avengers with my son. Another fun accessory I might grab with me sometimes is a very simple Nintendo Joy-Con smartphone cradle, which turns the iPhone into the ultimate Switch rival, allowing me to play games with the Joy-Cons on the best of mobile screens. I know that there are 3D printed solutions like this, so if you have a 3D printer, you can find one and print it yourself. The third fun thing I carry with me is the Mio Mini V2 console. I've spoken about this retro-inspired console before, and for a good reason. It's the most fun in the smallest of packages for someone who grew up with the arcade and old-school Nintendo games. Aside from the thousand of pre-installed titles, all the games look 10 times better than I remember them on the sharp LCD screen. If you want to combine a grab a wallet that's also a great stand, you can check out the ESR wallet, which I talk about in my What's in My Sling video, which I'll link here. Another iPad EDC accessory worth checking out is the flipbook case, which you can learn more about here. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.